Welcome everyone uh, to my channel uh, and Namaste. Today we are making an Indian dish. That's why you see a different costume change over here. And I am from India for those of you who don't know me. But uh, we are going to make a very special South Indian uh, authentic snack recipe today. So it is called Murku. And uh, you know, you can uh, see that in the Indian stores, but I'm going to show you a healthy way of making it from your home. So you're safe and you feel healthy making it as well. And it is easy as well. So let's get started. So over here I have the chickpea flour. It's also called the basin flour. And over here is our white rice flour. And I have, this is a mix of uh, cumin seeds and uh, um, carom seeds. So we call it uh, jeera and ajwe. So equal amount, we have well grinded to a fine grind. And over here is our paprika, which is also a chili powder and our salted salt and I also have water for mixing and we'll be needing oil when we start frying. I'm going to show you all how. So first things first, I'm going to mix my dry ingredients. Everything is in the description box so it is very well combined right now. Make sure it mixes very well. And then I'm going to add the powders all the dry ingredients then I'm going to give it a stir again while I'm doing that I also wanted to talk about the nutritional value behind it why do we have to add um, carom seeds or even cumin seeds along with it it is not just for using a spice uh, feeling or spice taste your taste buds the other best thing about cumin and carom seeds is it is very healthy for your digestion because a lot of people cannot handle the chickpea flour if especially you have gut issues it's going to get you bloated sometimes because we're going to fry it in oil so it's going to change the composition and you may not feel good after that many of us so that that's why we do this as a balancer so that way we don't have any after effect or silly effects so this is very healthy that way so we do a blend like that so it acts as a spice agent and also as a digestive agent I have mixed it very well all our ingredients are very well combined and this is the time to add our water it has to be in a room temperature so we are just going to add a little by little It shouldn't be too runny or too tight so we really have to make sure all right I'm here at my stove our final step for our batter mixing is the um, hot oil as you know that some people use butter but since we are uh, doing casein free vegan stuff so we are not going to use butter but oil really serves as a good agent for mixing in and then it will definitely become crunchy just like what butter is going to do so you can use any oil uh, but i like to use grapeseed oil or olive oil the reason i'm not using olive oil in this recipe is because it's going to give that a little bit of a bitter taste uh, when we do the crunch because we're not baking it we are frying it so uh, i'm just heating my oil uh, and then I'm going to pour it in and mix it again. So my oil is ready. So I'm just going to pour it around like that. And so I'm going to give it a stir again. I'm going to mix it. We have the dough here, uh, like I showed you, uh, or you can call it batter. Uh, I just transferred my batter into this chocolate maker. The, this is something that you can also get it from the Indian stores if you're not familiar with what this is. And at this point, my oil is uh, medium hot, and uh, this is a grapeseed oil. You can use any oil of your choice, and I'm just going to show how to make your chocolate. I just loaded it in this, and then I am going to do some rounds. You can do any shape you like. are uh, well fried and ready and one of the tip over here is you want to make sure it is not really burnt like a dark brown it has to be like a medium to light brown uh, shouldn't be like a yellow that means it's not cooked if it is really dark that means you have burnt it so this is the right color to go with it and then I'm going to place them on my paper towel so it can absorb the oil And 
then I'm going to let it cool down. And what do we do with the rest of the dough we have here? So uh, in my next video, I'm going to show you different templates. This is a different form of murkut, but I'm also going to show you how you can make chakli, how you can make uh, the long ones. There are many, many uh, shapes and sizes you can make with different taste and flavors. So we're gonna add some flavors to this, but right now this is going to go back into my fridge in a glass bowl so I can use it whenever I need it. So I'm, I'm gonna come back with more videos. So please subscribe it if you like it and you taste it and you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video.